Well, just when we thought they couldn't go down much further, mortgage rates dipped to new lows this week. Experts say continued issues related to the pandemic are playing a role in these record rates. That may be good news for house hunters, but with a scarce supply of homes to buy, some people are wondering if it's even worth the trouble. For more on that, we tune, turn to uh, Lane Lyon. He's a Denver realtor and managing broker at Coldwell Banker Realty and our expert. Lane, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Gary. Nice to see you today. Nice to see you too. So we know home buyers are out in force right now. Even with all the bidding wars going on, you say patience is the word. How so? Patience will pay off, I promise you, especially when lenders right now are quoting mortgage rates in the mid to upper 2% range. I mean, it's hard to imagine them going much lower, and I know we've said that before, but let's break this down. I have an example for you. We're gonna pretend we're buying a $500,000 house in Denver this morning. I had some help from a loan officer at Guaranteed Rate Affinity. He estimated the taxes and insurance for us and did the numbers with 20% down payment and good credit, okay? So he quoted this buyer yesterday, a rate of 2.75%. That's amazing, and a monthly payment of just over $2,000, $2,083. Now, if we waited a bit and rates ticked up slightly to say 3.25%, still amazing, that payment bumps up a little over $100 a month at $2,191, as you see there. Or how about if rates eventually go up to, oh, imagine 3.75%. I mean, it's still amazing, still under 4%. I'm not complaining, but look at the payment. It's now $2,300 or just over $200 more a month compared to if we locked a rate today. So the question is, is it worth clamoring in our tight market right now? Well, many buyers are saying yes, because it will save them so much over the long term. But here's the price you might pay. You might have to write more than one offer Gary, because there's a lot of crazy competition going on out there because it is a low inventory time for us. Yep, I get that. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that winning offer. You say it's more than just offering a good price. It's about appraisal gap and things like that. What is that? What is mm -hmm. the appraisal gap? Well, if I could do some sweatshirts up right now, they would say appraisal gaps are where it's at. <laughs> okay. Totally corny, but it is the story right now. An appraisal gap is when a buyer writes in the offer, look, I know that I'm going over your asking price. And when that appraiser comes in here, if it doesn't appraise, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, instead of you having to lower the price to the appraised amount, I'm gonna bring some extra money to closing to help make up for that appraisal gap. And right now the competition out there is, who's gonna offer me the most in the appraisal gap? And some are saying, I'll make up any difference in appraisal. Other buyers are also saying, look, I'm not gonna ask you for any inspection items out there. Some buyers I'm hearing right now are even waiving their right to an inspection. I think it's extremely dangerous. You don't know what you're getting into, but Gary, I have to say, the buyers who are willing to take the most risk right now seem to be coming out on top. Boy, the Denver market is just yeah. something else, right? It's hot, it's it, hot. It sounds like realtors are stepping up their game too. Well, we have to. Uh, there are agents right now who are waking up at midnight and one o'clock in the morning just to set a showing because all the t showing slots are filling up that fast. I heard of one agent who had a five minute showing window only five minutes to show the house because there was so much interest. You can't afford to be a minute late. But all of this said, Gary, I have to let you know, real estate continues to be an amazing investment over the long term, especially right now with everything we've got going on. So hang in there. There will be people in five years, Gary, saying we bought this house when rates were 2.5%, if you can believe it. So yeah. we'll have to see where it goes from here. That's for sure. Lane Lyon, as always, we appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day. Have a great day.